All right, today I'm in Richmond Hill, Georgia. I've gotten this recommendation from several people in the Savannah area. It's the Himalayan Curry Kitchen. I gotta check it out. I've never had it in full disclosure. I've not really had a lot of Indian food, but I've been told if you're looking for Indian food, this is the place. So like I said, Himalayan Curry Kitchen, it's a beautiful day for some Indian food. So let's check it out. All right, so my initial thought is very helpful. Look at, look at this. Look at that, look at that. My first plate, we got the naan bread. Let's go ahead and... This is dal makhani. The naan bread with the, uh, with the sauce. I have a feeling this is going to be a good visit. Like I said, I came in, I was uh, greeted very well. Very informative, educational on the, on the food. I mean, I even have to ask. I said, is this your first time? Or you've been here before? Haven't been here before? Very good service. So this next dish is going to be a bindi masala. So this is okra. Let's check this out. Bindi masala. Mm -hmm. Two for two. Bindi masala. 100%. I'm well, it's good to see you. Yeah, we don't live here anymore. So. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we hardly come. I've been to some places before and said I'll be back. I definitely will be back for this one. Himalayan Curry Kitchen. Two things in, and nope, no problems yet. Nothing, nothing bad to say. The quality of the food. The spices. All right, this is the mixed vegetable tikka masala. It's very good, very good. I feel like a little bit of spice. Just a little bit, it's not overbearing. Mixed vegetable tikka masala on some naan bread. Mm -hmm. Onion pakora. It's basically kind of like an onion ring. It's vegan. It's got some special spices in it. Man, I'm waiting for something bad. Mm -mm. <laughs> if you've never had Indian food, if you've never tried this place, if you live in Savannah and you're looking for Indian food, I'm, I've been here 10 minutes. great. Awesome service. Awesome food. If you're visiting Savannah, it's Richmond Hill. It's like maybe 30 minutes out of, side of Savannah. Hot tea? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Got some hot tea. I'll have to find out how you say it in Hindi. I spent some time in Turkey and I drank plenty of chai. Or Saudi Arabia, chai. Arabic word, Turkish word for tea. Let me see. You can tell it's hot. Mmm. Even the tea is flavorful. Got a question for you. What's the Hindi word for tea? Chai. Oh, it is chai. Okay. All right, yep. Masala? Masala chai, Masala means yeah. Like spices. Right, spices okay. Like so spiced. Cardamom, ginger. Okay. All right, tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken's good. So like I was saying, if you're in the Savannah area, if you, if you live here, if you're visiting, get a rental car, get an Uber, an Uber to Himalayan Curry Kitchen. If you love Indian food or you've never had it before, it's great. It's flavorful. Like I said, the service is great. They have a lunch buffet. They have a big menu of all different types of curries, all kinds of stuff. They got a kid's menu too. But if your kids can stand a little bit of spice, I wouldn't call it spice. Flavor. Come on, you, you gotta you gotta try something new. That's what I tell my kids. You gotta you gotta try a new a new type of food. You can't stick with chicken nuggets. 
forever. Chicken nuggets and pizza, anybody that the parent knows, chicken nuggets or pizza, that's what the kids are going to gravitate towards. This isn't chicken nuggets and pizza, this is a whole other level. I got guys. All right, butter chicken. Look at that. Look at that. Butter chicken. Baked chicken breast cooked in tomato cream sauce finished with butter. It sounds pretty good. Everything's been tasting pretty good. Mm hmm. I can see the kids liking that. Butter chicken. Mm hmm. Now we got. All right, so this is lamb kima masala. Ground lamb cooked with peas, onions, tomato, ginger, and garlic. So if lamb is your thing, which, hey, when I was overseas, I had a lot of lamb. I liked it. I see. Lamb kima masala. That's good, too. It's a, it's a step down from the spice level. If you like lamb, you're going to like that dish. Lamb kima masala. If you're not looking for the spicy. But it has spices. I'm going to switch gears to the chicken rogan josh. Chicken thighs cooked in tomato-based sauce with fennel and ginger. That's pretty dang good. That is, that would probably be another one for the kids. Every dish has a, a different la level of, of spice and flavor, but they all some a little bit more spicy than others, but there's not one that's bad. All right, under the sweets. This is dessert. I can't have too much. I got three of them. Samia. I think I'm saying that right. S E M I Y A. Let's check this out. Let's see how sweet this is. That's definitely sweet. <laughs> All right, next, rice. Rice curd. So this is rice with milk and nuts. That's like a cool kind of dessert. I would say it's not as flavorful as the last one. Nothing too overbearing. I might have saved the best for last. This is a mango custard. Mango custard. Let's just try a little bit of this, this sauce part of it. Let's go get a nice piece of mango in with it. It's pretty good. Like I said, all of the food here, it's like a full spectrum from, from sweet to spicy and everything in between. And then to ultimately finish it off with some hot tea. Some masala chai. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, the verdict's in. Himalayan Curry Kitchen. 100% recommended i mean from sugary to sweet and everything in between the spices the curry the chicken the lamb it's all good highly recommended if you're in the savannah area if you live here if you're visiting get a uber get a taxi get whatever get here if you've never had indian food you got to check it out if you've had indian food you got to check it out because i've been told it's good. First hand, just ate it. I'm full. I could have ate more. I wanted to eat more, but I probably would have felt horrible afterwards. But it's right on Ford Avenue in Richmond Hill. I mean, we're like 30 minutes from Savannah. So if you're visiting, it's a nice drive today. It's perfect weather for a drive, for a motorcycle ride. Come and check it out. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. 
awesome food, awesome people. They'll educate you if you've never had Indian food before. They'll tell you all about it. They'll explain it. Get some masala chai, some spiced black tea, hot spiced black tea, some food. It'll be great. The kids will love it too. Check it out. Himalayan Curry Kitchen.